Alright, welcome back ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nick, as always you can call me Tetra Ninja, and we are once again back showcasing you guys some early gameplay footage of Just Cause 4. Once again, this was captured at a Square Enix held event in LA that I attended a couple weeks ago. Square Enix provided travel and accommodations to the event, but they are not paying or sponsoring this video in any sort of way. I get to say everything I want, unedited it raw for you guys, right. and... let's see what this thing can do. Jumping right into See, it. Thank you. Stay as close as you can to the tornado. I need to get the necessary readings. Let's roll. Is this a tape deck? Uh, yeah. I made a mistake. Play it. Pump it up. <laughs> it is nice. So, as you can see, we are storm chasing a tornado in a very heavy vehicle, which is why we're not getting picked up. And the tornado is probably the biggest draw to this game. Uh, this tornado, you've seen it in all the trailers, you've seen it in all the early gameplay footage, you've seen it in all the images. The tornado is really what they're pushing in this game. And I'm not here to give you guys the PR speak of how. The tornado is going to like redefine and revolutionize the gaming sphere. I'm just here to say, it's pretty damn awesome watching it do the things that it does. Cesar, take this storm chaser and get out of here. I'll get the tornado back on track. Should what? Rico. I'll you on the way. Understood. So if this gameplay seems a lot smoother and more fluid than my normal gameplay that you guys have seen in the previous two episodes. Flag them. Already done. There, there is a reason for that because it's not my gameplay. So I told you guys in episode two I was gonna show you guys gameplay of someone who's a lot better at me at this game. He's actually one of the devs working on the game, so he's been playing it since day one basically. And what you notice at the very beginning of the video, he was tinkering a lot with all the customizations that you guys can do with the grappling hook. And as you can probably watch him, he'll swap very quickly and freely and almost seamlessly between all three of them. And it just gives you the show show you guys that like there is a very high ceiling of how you can play this game, and I probably won't reach it because of my limited time with the game. I'll try my best for you guys, but as you guys can see, they're just if once you get used to the systems, it just makes everything flow a lot easier. It's not my gameplay is fairly choppy, so yeah, the tornado is really cool. It, it, the inner nerd in me is like just admiring how much stuff is just going on i can like honestly like feel like cpus in my pc and the cpus in your consoles consoles like squealing as this thing is doing whatever it's doing because they told me that every tornado is unique even though the black hand does the enemies in this game can't control its directions with these wind cannons, which are the things that we're gonna try to destroy to make sure that they basically they get owned. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, it's just I I I respect the amount of resources that probably went into and time that went into designing the tornado, and it's just literally just one big funnel of destruction. So. Yeah, it's, it's awesome. There are a bunch of set piece moments in this game. What you guys are gonna see a little bit later is another set piece moment. So this game has. <laughs> so I'm just like watching this kid's gameplay right now and all the stuff that he's doing. So this game does have set piece moments, and environment plays a big part of how you're gonna enjoy this game. So obviously you have a tornado right here that is a natural disaster or a natural environmental thing 
But what we're gonna see in a couple seconds after we get past this scene is that we're gonna enter another set piece moment where we're driving a tank and we're basically riding the rails into a black hand facility and we need to destroy one of their antennas with the tank and there's actually a sandstorm going on so all the stuff that you've been used to doing thus far free flying gliding freely with your grappling hook as well as your parachute and your wingsuit and all that type of stuff it becomes infinitely harder as you're in a sandstorm because obviously physics is a real thing so it becomes extremely difficult to fly around I'm heading to the tower. Look how cool that looks! <laughs> Literally picking up all the stuff inside the base and just flinging it around in the funnel. I don't know. I just, I look at that tank. <laughs> it's just going. Uh, I, I I enjoyed it. I I enjoyed watching this guy's gameplay because it's just so much better than my gameplay. <laughs> but I'm gonna try my best. Okay, I'm gonna try my best to play this game as free flowing as possible. But anyways. So yeah, there are a bunch of set-piece moments in this game, which I think really do help. I'm not gonna say that every mission in this game... The train moving, Lancer. I'll deal with the Black Hand. Not every mission... There you go. Not every mission in this game is an absolute slam dunk winner. There are a couple of drier missions you guys probably saw at the end of Episode 2 of the Watch early gameplay. Ride me escorting guys outside the base. Uh, it was a very slow mission and it wasn't the only one like it of its kind. So it is nice to mix in some of these set piece ones that are a little bit more exciting to play. Um, but that being said, not everything can be staked. Once in a while you got yeah you, you gotta mix in a meatloaf in there once in a while. Rico, on the road, a dunk. There you go, blowing up so on the tracks in front of us. Shit. So the whole point of this mission is we need to reach the end. We have different segments of this railroad tank that we need to protect. If any of them blow up, most likely it's gonna be the front one that gets gets destroyed, then we pretty much have to start the mission again. Keep going, I'll clear the way. So yeah, I, I, I'm excited for this game. It's gonna be a fun game. Uh, the only main concerns that I probably have are I'm hoping that In front of us. the missions don't become too monotonous in Aye. how they're structured. This train is heavily armored, Lanza. I trust my design, but the explosion, the gunfire, it's unnerving. You're doing fine. Rico, in front of us. This, take care of you. this guy doesn't want to let me get a word in here, so as always, the strength of this game will be its gameplay. The story, it's whatever. <laughs> sandstorm! So there's no question this game has gonna have this game's gonna have incredible gameplay. The story in Just Cause 3 was average at best, so you kinda just have to make do with the, the game. Is taking a beating. And do as much as crazy stuff as you can to make to make your, make best of it, basically. So I didn't get to dive into as many of the side missions that I would have wanted. What do you think? But I'm just hoping they're not just gonna be the standard. Escort and can we keep moving? See, I think so. We must be cautious. Rico, on the tracks. Copy that. I'll clean this up. I'm just hoping it's not going to be the standard escort missions all the time. Protect the guy, reach the end. But the only way we're going to tell is by playing the full game when it does release, and I definitely will be, especially if I. And I'm gonna thoroughly enjoy it as well, especially the PC version because I've stepped before, but the PC version is by far the best version of the game to play if you have a choice, make sure that you play it on PC. 
We need a cannon to dislodge the core. So I'm gonna leave you guys with the rest of the gameplay of how weather affects movement with the sandstorm. So hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you guys so much for your support with these episodes. Once again, thank you for Square Enix for providing the opportunity for me to capture it. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. As always, if you enjoyed, thumbs up are greatly appreciated. And I will see you guys next time for whatever video. Just got support when it fully releases. What's All right. Matter? As always, have a nice day. We're seeding ducks. Can you repair the engines? It will take a moment. Do it. I'll cover you. Dio, Rico. The Black Hand are scrambling bombers. Shit. Work fast, Lanza. Uh, shoot straight, Rico. Bombers, to the left of the train, Rico. Here they come. How's it coming? Still working! There's sand everywhere! We knew we were taking this thing into a sandstorm, didn't we? Well, there's a lot of sand.
System. Destroy it thoroughly. That's how I roll. These things are tough, Lanza. Gracias. I designed them myself. You still need to take out the other two. Anything in the garbage. 